Excellent corner. Uh, Taoiseach, today blaming oil prices for energy crisis is not the same thing. The facts do not support your argument that the barrel of oil price hike is the main cause of skyrocketing petrol and diesel and home heating costs. This argument is wrong and misleading, and here is why. In 2008, the barrel of oil was $162. A litre of petrol was one euro thirty, and a litre of diesel was one forty-two. Today, the barrel of oil is ninety-three dollars, which is seventy-four percent lower than two thousand and eight. But today, we pay one seventy-four for petrol and one sixty-four uh, for diesel. Why does this mean that the price of a barrel of oil is 74% higher? Irish consumers were paying 34% a litre more now. 2008, 162 a barrel. Today, 93. And you're blaming the price of the barrel of oil is the cost of fuel prices. The fact underlines the impact on carbon tax, which is first introduced by Fianna Fáil and the Greens in 2009. Carbon tax is the real reason for the increase on fuel today. And the, the, what people are being put under pressure in their homes. The hauliers were here, the farmers were here, but yet you've done nothing to support them. The price of oil has, is cheaper than 2008, but its taxes and your percentage model on taxes is costing every household in this country more. If you're going to give the real facts to the public, tell them it's tax that was introduced, started and introduced in, by Fianna Fáil in 2009. That's a fact. I don't have to make up this. If you can Google it yourselves and you'll see it, Taoiseach, these are facts. The price of the barrel of oil is $44 cheaper, or 44 cheaper, or $69 cheaper today than 2008. You tell that to the people that are going hungry and going cold in their houses, that it's the price of the barrel of oil. Stop giving misleading evidence to this house. Good Thank you. I'd have to disagree with the Deputy. I think, the, first of all, I would say we know that the inflation right now, and let's deal with 2022, not 2008, uh, a long time ago, different economic situations. Just can't, I didn't interrupt, because the bottom line is this. We all know the current cause of the inflationary cycle is global. Oil and gas prices have risen dramatically. And let's take the, the, the point I'm going to make. Um, two and a half months ago, on the 1st of December, a barrel of oil cost $68. You agree? Um, and now it's costing $93.94. Okay? So that's clearly a dramatic increase in a number of months, which is causing, which the central bank in Europe are saying is a pandemic related cycle of inflation. Natural gas costs 165 pence a term today on international markets, compared with 42 pence a term last February. Uh, so higher gas prices have pushed up electricity costs as gas was used to generate half of this country's electricity um, last year. Um, the latest CSO data on wages showed that average weekly earnings uh, rose 5.4% in the third quarter of 2021 from a year earlier and were up 8.9% from their pre-pandemic levels in Q3 2019, contrary to a lot, what, a lot of what has been said here in the last number of weeks. Um, but that said, add to the energy issues uh, quantitative easing to respond to the pandemic globally is a factor. Uh, as economies uh, have come back out as we emerge from COVID, uh, the, the, the fact that supply has not met demand in terms of products manufacturing and the, and the, and the supply chain uh, blockages and so on, which were real, are easing somewhat now, and we hope will ease further uh, throughout 2022. Those are the causes of the current and, uh, uh, cycle of, of, of inflation. 
to suggest that it's just carbon tax is not, is not the truth. It's simply not the truth. But the story with the carbon tax is that we're giving the money back to the public in the form of uh, the retrofitting scheme where we'll enable people to retrofit their homes which will lead to cheaper uh, fuel costs into the future, giving money to farmers from the carbon tax for environmentally friendly farming uh, programs and additional income streams for farmers will arise from the distribution of carbon tax revenues and thirdly to protect against fuel poverty for those on low incomes uh, and those depending on, on the fuel allowance to enable us to make more generous provision in those areas as we have done in the last budget and in the most recent package in, ter in terms of those in well, receipt um, of fuel, alliance, uh, fuel allowance. And the, the reality is over the next decade or so we will be moving more towards renewables. We will always need gas as a transitional for the foreseeable future, as a transitional fuel, but we will have to increase our, um, our renewable um, capacities into the future. Of that there is no doubt and the current Ukrainian Gormogut. Russian crisis illustrates that for thank Europe, you, not just Ireland, more than anything else Gormogut. and has caused a lot of instability yeah, in more Deputy recent Richard. times. Taoiseach, I'm just going to, to give you a fact. You said don't worry about 2000. 2008 we were paying for diesel 644. 2022 we're paying 746 per litre or per gallon, right? I'll bring it into gallons for you. And in 2008 petrol was 590, now we're paying 789. 93 euros is the price of the barrel of, of oil now. It was 162 back then. You've just talked about retrofitting. Do you realise what retrofitting is? Since you announced the retrofitting, 17% the price of insulation has gone up. You put in a grand process, that's grand. Labour's gone up, the price of the material's gone up. What is it? It's oil based. Insulation, steel, all oil based. All you've done when introducing the retrofit is you're after driving inflation through the roof because the lack of supply. I know it. I'm a contractor. I see it every day. Every day I see it. You're so out of touch that you've actually increased inflation with the retrofit. Let's see, you see increase the grants with the inflation and let's see if it was a 50,000 retrofit and you're putting in 23,500, if it goes to 70,000, you bring that up to 35,000. That is how you deal with it. But you're after destroying this country with inflation. Taoiseach, to respond, one minute. Well, well first of all, um, the retrofitting scheme hasn't started yet. So, so clearly, no, we have the money and it's been allocated, but it clearly, it clearly hasn't affected the current pandemic cycle of inflation related. So calm down, I don't be, there's no need to be roaring about the thing. I just want to make through the chair if I say it to you. The, the bottom line is this, look, in 2021 the country spent 6.2 billion on imported fuels compared with 3.4 billion in 2020. So 6.2 we spent on imported fuels in 2021 compared to 3.4 in 2020. That's a 2 point billion increase in the bill for imported fuel, largely reflecting higher prices on international markets. We spent an additional uh, one and a half billion on imported oil, an extra one billion on imported gas um, last year. And look, you can't deny the global nature of this. Look, Deputy, during budget time, you're the very first in the queue looking for higher investments in roads, rail, projects in your constituency, uh, greater social protection measures. There has to be a revenue base to pay for all of that. And, uh, uh, and that, that is a reality. Uh, the revenue we generate relates to what we can do for society uh, and for the public um, more generally. But I think we have to be transparent about this, we have to be straight up about this. There is no denying the global nature of this. And then we have to take measures then to try and help people and alleviate the problem.